Hey, it's Luxury Travel Docs here today, and I am at one of our favorite museums today in Boston, Massachusetts, called the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. And this is a very famous museum in the Boston area, mostly because of the Gardner heist that occurred from this museum in the 1980s. From this museum, multiple masterworks were stolen during the evening closing hours uh, of this museum and never have been recovered. It's a very interesting story and if you want to read more about it I highly recommend that you look at the book called The Gardner Heist. I uh, came to this museum today as part of the Bank of America program called Museums on Us and there are many museums that participate in this program across the United States and allow you to have uh, free admission to the museums on the first full weekend of every month and of course this happens to be one of those weekends and you may be able to see over my shoulder one of our absolute favorite uh, paintings called El Haleo by the artist John Singer Sargent and this is beautifully uh, uh, positioned in the Spanish cloister of the Gardner Museum, which was originally the home of Isabella Stewart Gardner. I highly recommend that you visit this museum. Uh, if it happens to be on one of the free weekends provided by Bank of America, that is excellent, but also you can visit it uh, by paying the admission. Of course, students have a discounted price, and if you have the name Isabella, you can get into this museum for free. Other individuals who can enter this museum for free are veterans or military members with a valid ID. So always remember to make meaningful and healthy travel happen for yourself. And of course, we always encourage you to visit uh, museums, not only for the education, but the personal and meaningful experience that you can have from it. Uh, take your time and enjoy them. That's what they're meant for. So again, thanks for joining us from Boston, Massachusetts and the Isabella Stewart Gardening Museum. Thanks. Here you can see my favorite painting at the Gardening Museum, El Haleo by John Singer Sargent. You can see how it is fabulously placed at the end of the Spanish cloister, which so highlights this magnificent and extremely large piece of art. Absolutely in love with this painting. I hope you are too. This is the Dutch room where there are some magnificent paintings present, but you also may see that there are some frames in this room with nothing in them, such as the one in front of me that is labeled Rembrandt. This is uh, the room where there are many masterpieces by artists such as Rembrandt, Rubens. Uh, there's a fabulous painting in the beginning of this video that shows an image many of us are familiar with of Mary Queen of Scots. You can see a self-portrait of Rembrandt straight ahead. And again, just what a beautiful place to live. You have to wonder how often Isabella Stewart Gardner walked through these rooms and enjoyed the massive amount of artwork that she obtained during her lifetime. And there we'll finish with the beautiful painting of Mary Queen of Scots that is ahead uh, where the card is right now. Thanks again for joining us. Here we are in the tapestry room which is just another magnificent collection of very expensive tapestries. Also, this is such a grand room that you can have such a great feel for how Isabella Stewart Gardner lived. Here she could glance out into her beautiful courtyard below. As you can see, it's very crowded here today. Or she could take in some of the magnificent tapestries that she must have enjoyed viewing on a regular basis. Again, thanks again for joining us, and this is just a beautiful and meaningful day to visit this fabulous museum in Boston, Massachusetts. This is the Long Gallery, which is filled with beautiful 
sculpture all along the way. Uh, I just passed a lovely painting by Sandro Botticelli, which is one of my favorite artists. And these are some of the areas where Isabella Stuart Gardner mainly lived. I hope you're enjoying our tour of the Isabella Stuart Gardner Museum. Right now I'm standing outside the main courtyard of Isabella Stewart Gardner's home and you can see the beautiful floral arrangements here, beautiful plants and fountains and also the beautiful architecture. This is right outside the Spanish cloister where El Jaleo is situated at the end of the hall and you can see how magnificent it must have been to live as Isabella Stewart Gardner lived in Boston in the early 20th century. The highlight of this courtyard is the Spanish mosaic which is centrally located in the courtyard and you can see this below. See if I can zoom in on it for you. In the central part of the mosaic is the image of Medusa. This is an absolutely beautiful place to visit. Well worth your time and give yourself adequate time so that you're not rushing through this beautiful location and take time to see the objects or lack thereof that were stolen from this beautiful museum in 1990 and have never been recovered.